The product moment correlation coefficient sounds like a mouthful, and it is, but it's in the formula book. And the formula book will say R, which is this product moment correlation coefficient, equals SXY divided by the square root of SXX times by SYY. And each of those items are given to you again in the formula booklet, so you can work them all out. I'm going to quickly go through how you might work each one out in the exam question they likely will give you one or two or three or four or maybe all of these numbers given to you they might just give you these numbers so you would then have to put them into these formulas and work out the final result I'm gonna pretend like they've given us nothing but just again in the exam they might give you some of these totals so you don't have to work them out yourself what would you do so we know we're gonna work out s x y first and that's this formula. What does it mean? Well, this symbol means the sum. So this is the sum of x times y. So each of these x, y's we're going to times together and then add up. So for example, we do 8.6 times 33 plus 13.4 times 51 plus etc. etc. And we'd add it all up. In this one, they have given that to us and it is 9915.3. That is the sum of all the x's times the y's. The sum of x times y, I should say. Okay, what's the next one? It looks similar, but it's not quite the same. It's the sum of x times the sum of y. That's all of these added up times by all of these added up, which is very different from the one we just did. They've given us all of the x's added up and given us all of the y's added up. So that's fine. We can simply times them together and then divide by n n is how many numbers in each row so how many numbers of x are there or how many numbers of y are there it's not the total of both of them so there's 15 numbers in this row and 15 numbers in this row so the n is 15 so putting that into the formula we have down here I've done the working out that's sxy is the sum of x times y take away the sum of x times the sum of y divided by 15 and that total is right here. Now that could be part A of the question to work this out and part B is work out R so you might already have already done this section in a previous part of the question. What about SXX? That is, if you're looking at the formula booklet, the sum of x squared. What that means is you'd have to square each of these numbers and add it up so 8.6 squared plus 13.4 squared, etc., etc., and add it all up. Again, thankfully, I've already done this, and the total was this. Take away the sum of x squared, which again is different. That does it's not the same thing as this. It's the sum of x. It's all these numbers added up, and that final answer squared, and it won't be the same number as you, what you got here. When you get that total, which we have we're going to then divide it by n, which is 15. So we've got the sum of x, which is 176.9, and we're going to divide it by 15 after we square it. If we do the first answer, take away that number squared, divided by 15, and we get this. Notice the divide is only on this section. You've got to be careful when using your calculator not to do all of this top line divided by 15. It's only this section divided by 15, so be very careful on the calculator. Using a similar method, we'd work out SYY, so the sum of all the y's squared, so this squared plus this squared plus this squared added together, take away the sum of y, so all of them added together, squared divided by n. So we'd get that total down here. Then we'd simply get each of these answers and put it into the overall formula, which they give you at the front. And again, be very careful with the calculator. Make sure that you're getting the square root over the entire bottom line. So you might want to use brackets. And the answer would be 0 0.906. Finally, with the calculator, make sure you're using this fancy divide here, not the this symbol divide, because the calculator might get confused and think you mean this number divided by just the first term, but you mean divided by all of it. What does that 0.96 0.906 represent. What it means is that there is a correlation between these two things. The more vehicles there are, the more accidents, because this is a positive number. In fact, it's quite close to 1, so it is quite strongly correlated. 
the more, which makes sense. The more vehicles there are, the more accidents there'll be on the road. If this was a negative number, say negative 0 0.6, that'd be negatively correlated. That means the more vehicles there are, the fewer accidents, which wouldn't really make sense. So make sure you understand what the number represents. If it's nearing one and it's positive, that's strongly positively correlated. If it's very low, almost at zero, that means there's no correlation. And if it's negative, say 0 0.6, 0 0.7 or so, that would be negatively correlated. 